Hello, welcome to another free Vectric project. I call this one the Fresh Spring Clock. This project features a bird enjoying the warmer weather nestled in a crescent of flowers, leaves, and branches. This asymmetric design layout yields a fresh decorative timepiece you can create with the free project files, a push-in clock insert, and your CNC. The bird, leaves, branches, and flower models were created in the Vectric Aspire software. Then I exported those in the STL format so it could be imported into the VCarve software. The Aspire features used were import bitmap, drawing and note editing tools, interactive trim, weld vectors, and of course the modeling and sculpting tools. This project actually consists of two boards, a top and a bottom. Those two boards are glued together, but it's not necessary to use two separate files anymore because the new features in version 11 software has something called sheets. So you have the top on one sheet and the bottom on another sheet in the same project file. Each sheet will have its own layout and tool paths that are unique from each other, even though they are both in the same master file. You can download this project and the accompanied illustrated PDF file from your VNCO account at any time. Please enjoy the rest of this video to view the machining and assembly techniques that may help you when you decide to make your own fresh spring clock. And don't forget, if you enjoy these free projects, please subscribe and give a like on social media. That way you'll be notified of future free projects as they become available. After separating the parts, uh, what I need to do is uh, make sure that I don't have any of these fuzzies interfering with the glue up between the top and the bottom half. So I'm not too worried about the tabs and so on yet. I'll blend those in after they're uh, glued up, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and sand all the flats and get rid of any of these fuzzies that might interfere with the glue up.
Before I glue these pieces together, I want to go ahead and use my spindle sander to sand the inside of this larger hole. I don't need to worry about uh, the smaller hole for the clock insert because I can access that even after I've glued these things together. So before I glue it up, I'll go ahead and sand the interior of that. All right, the glue's set up, and so I'm ready to remove the clamps. And just uh, to show you that I'm not gonna sand everything by hand, I like to use uh, rotary tools. So I've got these handy dandy uh, 80 grit sanding discs, 3M sanding discs. They're great for removing fuzzies, and especially in small areas. I also have the uh, Dremel uh, abrasive uh, rotary tools that fit in there. And of course, we always have our uh, stiff brush, not a metal brush, but a nylon, stiff nylon brush, and some diamond files, and I've got uh, uh, several of these sanding sticks. So that helps make the job go a lot faster, and uh, wherever necessary, I use regular sandpaper by hand. All right, I used my spindle sander to clean up the inside of this mounting hole. And I'm just gonna do a test fit with the clock and make sure that I don't need to remove any more material. And I think that's gonna be just fine. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple uh, screw eyes in the inside of that uh, edge. And uh, then I'll stretch some picture wire across the screw eyes to act as a hanger. Now you could, if you had a nail on the wall or a screw or something, just hang that this over that nail uh, so you don't have to do this but I like the wire going across because I can adjust it back and forth to make sure it's uh, you know staying hung straight so what I did was I just took a straight edge and turned uh, the clock over and then I kind of peered through here getting that clock in position where I thought it should be for hanging on the wall and held that in place turn this over and and I made my marks here, as you can see. I just extended those marks down here, and then I used an awl just to twist into the edge, and that gives me a good pilot hole for these uh, screw eyes. So I'm not going to uh, actually leave these screw eyes in uh, because I still need to apply a finish, and after I've applied the finish and it's dry, then I'll go ahead and uh, screw these in permanently and get a, a length of wire just to stretch across here so it doesn't interfere with the back side of this clock. So I'm still deciding uh, what type of finish I want to put on this. Uh, I think I'll go ahead with, uh, carry on with the instructions and everything in the PDF and uh, just take some photos of this unfinished. It still needs to have some uh, final sanding done before I can apply a finish. So I'm either gonna stain it, just stain it all one color, or there's a possibility I might apply, uh, you know, some colored glaze, maybe uh, a little bit of color here and then uh, glaze over at the top of that. Uh, haven't really made up my mind yet. I kind of like the idea of just applying a stain overall and just giving it that sort of uh, rich old world carving sort of appearance. So 
Um, I'm still deciding on that. So if any of you guys uh, decide to make this, I would sure be interested in seeing pictures. You can post them on the forum or on social media or wherever. Uh, see pictures of uh, what your imagination did with uh, the finish work on this particular piece. And of course, if you're carving it into a nice piece of wood like walnut or maple or something like that, you're probably not gonna be wanting to paint it. You'll probably just wanna uh, apply a clear coat and be done with it. All right, so jury's still out on what I'm gonna do for finishing on this, but uh, I'll go ahead and carry on. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to be alerted to any of the future free projects, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this video channel and the Vectric newsletter so that you receive all future project notifications. This is Michael Tyler, looking forward to bringing you a lot more free Vectric projects. Until then, be well and happy carving.